Hey there, it's Roland from Getting It Done North of 7. Beautiful day today on this Saturday. What I'm going to do today is I need to split some more kindling to make it last for the rest of the winter. I thought I had enough for the winter, but I think I need a little bit more. And we have, in a couple of days, we're supposed to get rain most of the day. So I want to bring over my cedar stumps or cedar logs that I have that I use to split kindling for kindling and bring it underneath my deck but i want to split some up and get it ready as well for the rest of the season so but first what i need to do is i don't know if you can see this this path down here it's all hard and crusty snow which i've been plowing through the winter but this last this last uh, snowstorm has really gave us a lot of hard snow to remove so i'm either gonna I'm going to try with the blade on my ATV to move all this so I can make a path to get my splitter down there. Or I'm going to hit it with the snowblower. And then I have to move a little bit under the deck as well. So keep with me, stay tuned, and we'll get this work done. That worked out pretty good. I thought that snow would be a lot harder to move, but it wasn't too bad. Actually, it was really good. So I got the path all cleared. Now I can bring the, the wood splitter down here and we can start splitting some kindling.
since I was done splitting kindling, I looked up at my chimney watching the smoke come out of the stack from the wood furnace and I could hear the chainsaw off in the distance. So I went up to the front, up by my driveway, and I heard a tree coming down. So I thought, okay, I better have a good look at this because see if it's on my property, which I didn't think it was. But I'm on the north side of my property here, but I thought I'd check my neighbor's place too. And uh, I kept walking through the woods here on the north side of my property and on my neighbor's side. And I could hear the chainsaw getting louder and louder, but I didn't see anything. So I guess it was just north of us, just a bit. And uh, you know, you, you just never know. So I thought I'd check it out anyway, but I'm heading back to the driveway now. And what I did here was I put my, strapped my camera to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of those hiking poles and I just hold it really low to the ground and I just kind of swivel and rock the top of that pole to go around rocks and trees and that and I just think it's a really cool effect and I wanted to share that with you. It looks so nice it's all snowy and blue skies and nice oak trees and birch trees and you're walking through here. The snow is a little deep though but still a nice walk. So I'm heading back to the driveway here and I'm going to take you up the driveway and show you the, my wood pile and we'll do the same effect with the camera on the pole. Just hold it really low to the ground and I'll go through and around the wood pile. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're heading back up the driveway now. See how I got the camera really low? And you can see the snow banks, they look so high. Well, they are kind of high, like two feet tall, but it's a cool effect. Pretty soon here, we'll jump over the snow bank and I'll take you around the wood pile. Now this wood pile here that you're going to see is all my firewood for next year. It's already seasoned one year and now it's going to get all next summer, the spring and summer to dry out really good. And then, well actually pretty soon I'll be ordering probably a trailer load or a truck load of timber to cut and split again. And that will be for the following year. Quite a bit of work stacking all the stuff, cutting it, splitting it, stacking it. But it's fun. I don't mind it. Get a good heat. And up here is my cedar logs that I cut for spit, uh, cut for kindling. Well, we got all the work done, got the kindling made, probably enough for the rest of the year. Did a little bit of plowing in the driveway just to clean things up. You know, this firewood's a, it's a lot of work. You know, you're always transporting wood from one place to another. And, uh, but you know what, it's, 
it's definitely cheaper than burning the oil that we have now or propane and it's a better heat as well so I don't mind doing it we save quite a bit of money doing just a little more work because we have a lot of trees here we can cut as well if we need to so yeah firewood is it's it's good exercise it gives you the things to do so I don't mind it but so we got all that done and with all this snow we're, we're all caught up now with the snow, so I guess next thing is is rain on Monday. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does, I guess we'll lose a lot of this, and the weather should be changing soon. It's going to be warm a lot next week, so a lot of it will be melting, and it'll be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm getting a new video. I'm just trying to fill in some time here, you know, doing odd work and uh, plowing, you know, firewood, things like that. When the summer comes along, that's when the fun stuff's going to start. Be out in the boat, playing on the river and the lake, doing some fishing, going on the dirt bike for rides. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. I've had enough of all this work. I'm done. Just kidding. I think I'll do some more.